hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of outside the box podcast with me your host mary hooks if you have subscribed to our youtube channel follow us over on apple Podcasts and spotify we just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you um we very much appreciate you i appreciate all of the support thank you for rocking with us every week as we upload these podcasts um I'm super excited y'all to be here again yet another day and so today I just want to have a little conversation with y'all um I just want to get on here and I want to say pop your stuff sis huh yeah. <laughs> pop your stuff sis I'm here to let you know listen you got to show up as you it's already enough of them and God has put something so unique down on the inside of you God has made you so uniquely and wonderfully and fearfully and wonderfully made like it's things that only you can do there's things in this world that only you can do and so i'm telling you right now sis pop out pop your stuff it's time for you to show up it's time for you to take the limits and the labels off everything that people have called you in your past every um amount of doubt every amount of shame every amount of bondage every word curse we break it now in the name of jesus because when i'm telling you god has so much that he wants to do through your life but you got to show up see one thing about god that i've learned is that he meets us he meets us in the middle like god is a type of guy like yes he has great and mighty plans for your life yes he has plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and expect the future, all of that. But God needs you to show up. You've been watching me do it. It's like simply saying, hey, I'm going to do whatever it is God has told me to do. Now, for you, it may look like something completely different. For me, it looks like me showing up here on this podcast for you guys weekly, sharing the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the experiences that I have been through in life, the things that um, God has allowed me to overcome to be a light and to be a blessing and to give people hope. And so for you, I don't know what your thing is. Maybe it's doing hair. Maybe it's doing makeup. Um, but you got to show up. You got to put yourself out there. You have to continuously work that thing, continuously go at that thing. Now, I know you may be like, Mary, the last time I showed up, I didn't get the results that I was looking for. The last time I put myself out there, I didn't get the attraction that I was expecting or whatever the case may be. I'm here to tell you it's a new season. It's a new season, boo. God is saying, do it again. Okay, God is saying show up again. God is saying go forth again. God is saying pop out. This time is going to be different. This time that you pick this thing back up is going to be different because this time you're picking it up from experience. You're not just picking up something from scratch. The last season when things didn't work out, it was teaching you. It was showing you. It was it was sharing with you how to be a good steward and how to have discipline. But this time when you show back up, it's going to be better. This time when you show back up, it's going to be greater. This time when you show back up, it's going to um, be impactful. And so I want to encourage you because a lot of times we sleep on ourselves. Like I remember being in the season, y'all, I was sleeping on myself. I was like, you know, I knew that God had given me purpose. I knew that I needed to be showing up. But I would just have so many like doubts within myself. What it was, was I didn't think I was deserving of it. I didn't think I did it right. You know, whatever right is, you know, um, I didn't think I was qualified enough. You know, it was all these limited beliefs that I had on myself. And that's why I said in the beginning of this video, in the beginning of this podcast, we have to take the labels off and take the limits off because People say things about us that'll make us stop, but we also say things about ourselves that'll make us stop. We also say things about ourselves that'll make us play small. And I don't know about you, but I know in this season of my life, I cannot afford to play small. Y'all, I turned 30, I turned 30 um, in June. And I don't know, like, if anybody has witnessed this, you can leave a comment about it. But when I turned 30, like, something in me switched. It was like, oh, I'm grown, grown. Like, everything I do matters now. And maybe it should have been like that in my 20s. But for me, it wasn't like that in my 20s. Like, 
I wasn't as intentional. Now, I was intentional about certain things because I'm a mom, you know. I have to make wise decisions for my children and everything like that. But when I turned 30, it's just something about turning 30. I'm like, I got to be serious about my purpose here. Because when you look at life, like life is short. Life is so short. I'm like, okay, I'm 30. So in 10 more years, I'm going to be 40. And then 10 more years, I'm going to be 50. But if you go back the other way, as a kid, we spent all this time like, Man, I can't wait till I get grown. Was that y'all? Because that was me. I'm like, man, I can't wait till I get grown. I can't wait till I can move out. I can't wait to, you know, I'm going to be doing everything I want to do, all this stuff, right? But it's like, we really have that first 18 years, and then we're grown. From 18 to 30, like, that time went so quick for me. But when I turned 30 this June, this past June, I'm like, nah, I have to be intentional. I have to show up. Like when I'm done here, I want to hear God say, well done, my good and faithful servant. That's something that I want to hear. I want to be intentional about my walk, not only with Christ, but what he's put me here to do. I want to be intentional about being a great mother to my children, instilling a lot of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding into them. Because I understand that they too have a life that they have to live. And I want them to be equipped. I want them to be ready. I want them to know like, Mama wasn't perfect, but we saw mama pray. Mama wasn't perfect, but we saw mama call on Jesus. Mama wasn't perfect, but we saw mama act in kindness. We saw mama show up. We show mama, we saw mama be patient. We saw mama show love to people. Like mama wasn't perfect, but mama fulfilled the purpose that God had put on her life. And so I just want to encourage you, like, listen, pop out, pop out, do what it is that God has called you to do. Show up in whatever your level of expertise is, whatever it is you know how to do. For me, it's encouraging. I know how to, if somebody is in a, a dark place in their life, because of what I've experienced in my life, I know how to say, girl, get back up again. And not just say, girl, get back up and again, but you could do this, 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 and this to overcome what it is that you're experiencing. So shameless plug, you guys, I am a life coach. I'm a certified life coach. I've been a certified life coach for the past four or five years. Um, I actually think we're coming up on the fifth year. So for the last five years, I've been a certified life coach. I help women remove the labels, remove the limits, remove the things that have been literally keeping us bound. Throughout life, we form habits that has literally been keeping us stuck, that has been keeping us timid, that has been keeping us away from what it is that God wants us to do. And so if you're struggling with that, send me an email, maryhooks.info at gmail.com. Um... I would love to be your coach in this season. I would love to work with you, to help you come out of your shell, to tap into the warrior that's on the inside of you, to be all that God has called you to be, to change your actions and, and get some structure and some discipline because that's what it's going to take, y'all. Like, I know y'all seeing me show up now, but I didn't get here overnight. See, I'm up here now with the camera and I'm publishing books and I'm doing these things but it took a lot of behind the scenes, stuff that the, the camera never sees, stuff that is never captured, stuff that, you know, seasons of my life where God had literally took me into complete isolation because he was dealing with Mary, because he was changing my mindset, because, you know, it was just discipline that I needed and I needed to stop people pleasing and setting boundaries. And so like, this is stuff that it's necessary in order for you to get to your next level. And so I want to help you do that, sis. I believe that God wants to do great and mighty things through your life. Like I said, it is time to show up. It is time to pop out. It is time to be all that God has called you to be. It is time to walk in your fullness and your greatness and your authority. And I just believe now is the season. Now is the time. No more delay. No more pushback. In Jesus' name. So, Pop Out says, listen, if you have a topic that you would like for me to talk about here on Outside the Box Podcast with Mary Hooks, send an email to maryhooks.info at gmail.com so I can talk about your topic, my perspective, my advice, the wisdom that I have, maybe some experiences that I've gone through um, pertaining to that topic. And so I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know that this is your time, that this is your season. No more delay. Greatness is waiting on you.